read about Bill Cosby's case. I want to know, is there a time frame to report rape cases? We've seen situations where 10, 20, 30 years down the line, someone comes up to say, uh, Mr. A or Mrs. B raped me, and yes. it's like, there is no evidence. Is there a time frame for reporting rape cases? In as much as it would be really lovely to get the victim to speak up within, say, five, 10 minutes. This is why I go back to the issue of educating people about rape. It is not easy. Now, understand the system that we run. A girl or a boy is raped. First of all, there's fear from the perpetrator himself who tells you, if you tell anybody, I'm going to kill you. But you see, I always say the perpetrator is the least problem in the whole discussion. You know, we're looking at the fear from the family and fear from society. When you speak up, the blame game that comes in. So you have a girl who's sitting down. Something has just happened to her. She's asking herself, what will my mom say if I tell her? Will they say it's my fault? doing what I just did. Will the society see me as that woman who has been raped? And we must understand that society still looks down on women who have been raped. And I keep asking the question, did it also look down on men who have been raped as well? Because society has, to a very large extent, put the dignity of the woman in her vagina, right? So the thing is, when a woman is raped, it means her dignity has been taken off her. And no one's dignity is in their vaginas. So if we can take off that burden, right, that we put on the vagina, I think Pay, you know, what they call them, um, victims, will be able to step up to say, this is what happened to me in the last one minute or in the last two minutes. But you see, at that point it's happened, she's going through a lot in her mind. First of all, trying to come to terms with what has happened. It's easier said than done when people say, oh, speak up. But understand this victim has just been abused and has to come to terms with who will believe and who will not believe her. So most women, when you hear them come out 10 years, five years later, it's because one person had become bold enough to speak up and then they jump on it to say, okay, they're gonna call me, they're gonna look down on me as a rape victim or the girl who has been raped. I'm not gonna be the only one. We're now in a group. So we have to tackle that issue. We have to let people understand what rape is. Let them understand what the victim goes through. You know, I want us to also talk about the solutions to this because oh. like you said earlier, it's about the girl child and the boy child. Yes. But on the flip side of this rape cases, some people want to get um, vendetta or whatever it's called and they accuse people falsely for whatever reasons. Is there any law that uh, would you know, penalize them for doing such? Well, I haven't really researched on that or checked up on that, but clearly, of course, if you lie against a person you know, to bring down their personality or whatever, of course, there are laws for that to begin with because it's the person's image. Slander. You don't, slander, you don't just come up and say, you know, um, what you call it? You don't just get up and say, a ghost rape. You, there's a name attached to it, and as long as you're well, like the case of the band, the band, and about. this, you yeah. know, and that's why I keep saying education is very key. So the police force that's going to step in, who you're reporting to, to also investigate this. How much do they know about it? Be it slander, libel, whatever term you want to call it. How much do they know about rape? How much do they understand it? Because if they understand it well, then they can approach investigation better. Right. So you don't have a situation where if the celebrity really was guilty and you step in front of a policeman, the policeman looks at the celebrity who is larger than life to him and looks at you and says, Madam, who are you? I think you're just trying to rip this person off. Sit down. They don't even bother. Right. Because, of course, he has a clout. So maybe he brings some kind of, you know, top legal gun to represent him. And you who's brought your case, your case dies down. So the police has to be educated to understand what to look out for. To understand that there are things you need to go back to the records, even if it's 10, 5 years back, we need to get that. Timmy DeColo's wife, exactly. look at the case that has happened. Even all the comments and all the documentation, everything that has been done, we haven't heard about anything since then. So it really helps to make you understand, if it comes to the table of a policeman who does not understand how to go about it, he also doesn't want to offend the parties involved, you will get silent. So you, know, you we cannot push away education. Exactly. You've been talking about education, but what will be the solutions? Some of us are educated. You'll find out some of the perpetrators are educated men and women. So what solutions would you prefer for, to end this menace? Clearly, it starts with the family. People say it starts from here, then the family, and then society. But you see, um, no one just grows up on their own. We, we are formed, our characters are formed by what happens around us and whatnot. So let's take it back to the family. How many of us are talking to our children? In all honesty, the focus has been on girls a lot. There's a whole lot of burden. I'm sure you went through that as well growing up. What you should do for you to be a good wife. What you should do so men don't call when you. When you wake up. When you should wake up, you know, how you should walk, how you should sit to begin with. I don't, I don't remember anybody sitting down and talking to the boys about the same thing and telling them that what you call tapping when you're at school is wrong. That's where this whole thing about consent begins from. They call it tapping current. So boys think it's okay to touch a girl's bum when she walks past and, and then you graduate into rape 
Because you see, this is something you also so always saw as fun. So it needs to start from us educating our boys. Nobody dropped from the sky and became a rapist. It started from within. It's not about what they observed. Maybe how they saw their fathers treat their moms how they saw their brothers treat their girlfriends or their cousins. So we need to start from the family. Sit your boy down and I'm ask him to. questions. Talk to him. Let him understand this is where you cross the line. All we right. need to put those lessons out. All right, a great way to end this conversation. Thank you so much. On your Sunday, the convener Educate to End Rape Campaign. Thank you so much Thank for you your for time. having me on the show. All right, we'll take another break. And when we come back, there is more news. Please stay with us. <laughs>